Big star out of me. Play it about a bad man who's sad and lonely. And all we gotta do is have breakfast with Bob. Cheese! Pancho Man! Welcome everybody. Day two, Breakfast with Bob, St. George edition. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Master Spa, Zion's Bank, Quintana Roo, Forum Smart Swim Goggles, Clash Endurance, Premium Plus Sports, and of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation. He is the 2019 Challenge Roth Champion, Mr. Andy Dries joins us. How you doing, Andy? Oh, thanks for having me here. I am good. It's Ready for the big day. Always exciting to see you because when Andy Dries is on the starting line, you know it is a big race. Oh, thank you very much. I know if it's a big race when you are here and even bigger when we see Poncho Man with the introduction. <laughs> a Poncho Man sighting here yeah, in beautiful yeah. St. George, Utah. So this course, have you spent so much time on it? Uh, yes, so, so, yeah, but yesterday and the day before I did uh, some course recon and I would say I know all of the course in combination with the, the race last year, right, the 70.3 70 race, it's yes. more or less on the same course yes. or, s or many parts are on the same course. Uh, uh, well, I say I, I like the course. It's, an, it's a nice one. It's a good one for someone who's a really good cyclist like yourself. Definitely. A lot of climbing, some fast sections and... Uh, also some yeah steep steeper parts right but also for the for the run it's uh, yesterday I was surprised despite the many uh, climbing or mm -hmm. the many change in yes. altitude I felt kind of comfortable running this good this gradients yes. so it's it's kind of of rhythmic it's not like uh, some flat and steep hills or some in interruption right you can you can concentrate on now it's going up now it's going down and it's a very comfortable uh climb up and down so yeah getting might, into might rhythm. suit also the yeah. athletes like me that are a little bit heavier and run with more power right uh so i'm looking forward to it and yeah. i did my homeworks you have done your homework that is very cool so uh winning challenge roth and that's in your hometown right or hometown area H how many family members did you have out there uh, oh how many family i don't remember actually it's a, uh, uh, um, for sure my sister was there my mom was there maybe my second sister <laughs> my girlfriend then yeah. their fa her family <laughs> and so many friends uh so almost on on every corner there was somebody <laughs> yes. I know. So <laughs> it's it's crazy, and everybody who raced Roth already knows what what it is. It's something unique and special about this race, and yeah, it's it's just incredible. And if it's on home soil, it's even even better. And so that you come off that that high, and then the world shuts down the f the following year. How did you deal with you know not having races? Well, and before. Training? Before the world shut down, I <laughs> crashed, crashed and you shut crashed down. Crashed and shut yourself down. Less, yes, in Nice, seventy point three worlds, right. and then also yes. uh, Kona twenty nineteen was uh, yeah a tough call. I had to you had to pull to, out to pull out early on the bike due to yeah still uh, the Your body shoulder. was too too yes. weak and too many scratches and everything. So basically, this is the first big Ironman race since the victory in challenge roth wow so that's also a, a, a great a, a big big time gap in between of course there were, some, races, there were some big races yes um but it was different and COVID and all, all, all things made it difficult to plan ahead so this is for me the first race i have a long time uh before and a long lead up to th to the to the race even uh, both mentally and physically and the focus was 100 percent. and yeah once it was announced it it started yes and then doing the homeworks doing the the training camps and planning everything for this race and you like that you you you're oh, one of those definitely. guys you, I, I you like need, to plan yeah you, you want to be planned well, I, i'm also 
I try to adapt and to find some uh, some some new ways, even if if uh, times are yeah are crazy like right. we had in the past. Mm -hmm. Try to be flexible and adapt. But also, I'm an yeah a, a planning guy who yes. plans ahead and likes to make a plan, stick to the plan, and just execute the plan. And now it's the first time since a very long time I have the chance to do it again. So br breaking, uh, getting injured like that, and then then you had the uh, you, you know that you had the winter, and then everything shut down. So you're able to get your at least you're able to get your body healthy right before racing started again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, I had a good 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 time good over base. winter. I yes. was on on peaking. I planned to race uh, Ironman South Africa in 2020 right and that was uh yeah just at that time when everything locked down uh so i had some good training camps already back there in Gran canaria my favorite island and then i know we were flying home on wednesday yes and the race was still scheduled As a lot of stuff was canceled already but the race was still uh going on right then on Thursday, one day at home. On on, on Wednesday, we were very, we were one hundred percent confident that the race will happen. Yes. On Thursday, back home, I was, yeah, just I don't know. I was just back home, not doing doing n not so much. Right. But on Friday, the race was cancelled, and on Friday, it was it did not surprise me anymore that the race was cancelled. It was just the how how it went. Right. And then uh, from. From the from the next week on, it it was complete shutdown. So it was a hard <laughs> call, but for everybody, for everybody, so everybody dealt with it. Yes, um, especially yeah. a guy who likes to plan. <laughs> <laughs> especially somebody who likes to plan when there's Definitely. nothing to plan yeah. for. Was yeah. that hard for you? Because you don't know when races are coming back. No. Was it hard to train not knowing? Uh, well, I I was in great shape, and luckily in Germany we were allowed to go outside by our own at all times okay. to go for cycling and running right and also we had beautiful weather at that time that is not normal that right. is definitely not normal <laughs> at that time in yes. april or may yeah um empty streets so we had like amazing training conditions for cycling and running yes uh swimming was yeah tough to jump into the yeah. very very cold lakes and because the, and the, the pools, pools were, were closed. All, closed. all closed yes but yeah in the end it was yeah not not training like uh or the, we don't didn't have a goal at that time it was more for fun i i searched for some new challenges um some some strava activities right <laughs> getting sure. some koms and also some um uh, some special loops, some some wider wider loops to to discover more the the, the greater home area mm -hmm. with longer rides. Also to um, to run on different surface to get it more like an adventure. Not always running uh, on the same roads where you know and w uh, where you know um, the, the the kilometers and also the pace. Yes. So also run a little bit more hilly up to the mountains. We ran to the to the highest mountains, and not necessarily there, and caring that some, much some what your time like was. That. It's just, yeah. just let's Keep just run, stay stay active, and have fun outside. Yeah, that was the the key. Has that helped you as you move forward? Because you were you are pretty disciplined. Everything, in the first every, in yeah. the first case, definitely it helped. Uh, but also uh, as an athlete, I like to race, right? To plan ahead and to try to do better, and also race against others, right? So. Uh, I was really missing those races mm -hmm. still, um, and then also when the races came up again, I was yeah trying to get on every start list uh, that is possible more or less. Yes. So it was kind of a, a hassle also, and also with uh, with 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 traveling, I need to 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 make some some plans, try to adapt. Uh, is the quarantine afterwards? Is the quarantine before? Uh, at the early beginnings, uh, what do I need to do and what can I avoid, what travel is necessary, what not, and how can I make a a, a, tr a whole trip that is right. worth it uh, and also to stay away from 
uh, from from other people as most as possible, but also focus on my my training as much as possible. Man, that uh, and it's funny because I think 2019 was was such a good year for you, right? Uh, 2000, yeah, 2019 was was a great season. Definitely, and, yeah. Yeah, and then the world shuts down, and then it's like, ah, oh, I'm ready. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. So this course, it, uh, it, like you said, you're comfortable on the run. Uh, you like hill, like a, a course that's challenging. Is this a type of course uh, that, that suits you in terms of potentially winning this race? Well, if I have the chance, I will take it. Right. So I'm ready for it. And especially here, everything is new. I, we never had an, a, 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 an Ironman race that is packed like this. Yes. On a different course outside of Kona. Right. So here we have totally new race, new conditions, n so many new contenders yes. that are very talented yeah, huh? but need to prove in a world championship race as well. And it's o more open than ever before, I would ever. say. Ever, yeah. And it's early season. So you don't – when you go to Kona, nobody's going, oh, I'm just – training through this race because I'm focusing on Arizona or Florida, right? But when you have an early season race like this, we don't know what fitness level some people have and no, you know what their injuries are, what they yeah, deal with. Yeah. And with the whole season in front, if somebody's not having a good day, it'd be easy to go, oh, I've got, you know, I've got Louisville coming up. I've got something else. So that people could be, you might have a, a fairly high dropout rate. From the pro side. Uh, true, yeah, we already have a lot of dropouts. Oh, yeah, so. I know, people who didn't get here. <laughs> yes, yeah, with Jan and Patrick, and yeah, but you've, you've had so many. Joe Skipper, it, the, yeah, the men's yeah. field has changed a lot over the last, uh, last month or so. Yeah, well, we hope that we can stay healthy and everybody who made it here can be yes. part of the race. But also, the conditions can change so so fast. Today, th this morning, we wanted to go out for the, the swim. race course swim. And they canceled it due to weather. It was it was crazy out there. It was windy with the wind. Yeah, with the wind and a lot of waves and choppy. So uh, it was the right decision to cancel the swim. Uh, <laughs> but I did not expect it uh, <laughs> to be so crazy here because also here in uh, here in St. George or Washington, you don't experience any strong wind at all. So. Well, here you don't need to be here. But here it is well, normal wind or something. Right. But, but out, out there it was crazy this morning. Well, and yesterday, was it yesterday or Sunday? One day it was the wind was just crazy. I think it was Sunday. Sunday wind was really, when we were driving in. Sunday was the, also. Yeah, wind, windy yeah. on yeah. the bike. Sunday afternoon. Really, yeah, yeah Sunday afternoon was really crazy on the bike. Yeah. I, I just remember that here it, last year we had hail in the middle of the day, right? Oh, in, in the 70.3 yeah, yeah. we had hail and wind and sandstorms. And so similar to Kona where you don't know what the weather's going to be. This, yeah. is, this <laughs> is very similar to that type of situation. Yeah, Definitely. Does it change the way you race? Do you have to think more in a race like this because the because there's so much climbing and there's so much weather? Is it change the way you race itself? Um, I think that you need to be aware what weather can be there. Mm -hmm. So try, although check so the ready. forecast, check the course out there. What uh, areas are more affected by wind if right. there is wind and from which uh, side is the wind uh, coming or expected and then also um, if, y if you checked all this information you can take it into account when you m make your plan and where you want to push where you want to break away where you take the chance to mm. make it tough for the others and take your chance so because it's easier when you have like side wind or or tough conditions to break away from a group mm -hmm. instead of having tailwind or headwind. Exactly. Now, I know, I think Cam Worf is getting in to either today. Yeah, he gets in today because we're chatting with him tomorrow. Having another great cyclist in the race, is yeah. that's a positive. Definitely, yeah. yeah. That it's helps you. Yeah, it, it, it definitely helps or makes it also more interesting. And uh, if if there are so that's also the mo the interesting thing about triathlon that you have different strengths and mm -hmm. weaknesses and everybody or, or, or then in the end you you see who is the guy with the with the best uh combination of all all three and i i did especially improve on swimming and running 
Yes. So I think I level up for the next step. And the cycling is still great. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, no. It, it was. It was. Yesterday was great out there. Yeah. I oh, love it. And you have a great race on Saturday. And the finish line is right behind us here. So hopefully oh, yeah, I saw it. we're carrying the German flag and keep that going. Because we haven't had a non-German winner here since 2013, right? That's true, yeah. So we need to keep that going. I'm in for it. You're in for it. Jan's not here. Patrick's not here. But you're here. I'm here. I love it. <laughs> Andy Dreets has been our guest. Pacho Man, take us out. They're going to put me in the movie. They're going to make a big star. What key am I in? And it's breakfast with Bob. Pacho Man! Thanks for day two, breakfast with Bob. Hold on, we will be right.